Hey guys. So with all the news coming from Conan's surprise mid-season update winding down, one of the big points of discussion has been about the changes to update cadence, essentially doubling the time between major updates. Is this actually a change for the better? Well, I'm going to discuss it a bit today and we'll see where we end up. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you're unfamiliar with the situation, let's establish exactly what we're talking about. To paraphrase from the most recent blog post, the devs said this. Developing an update every three months has been a big change for the dev team and we've learned a lot. For one, this cadence is not the sweet spot where we're happy with quality, quantity and the type of content we're releasing. To try and find this sweet spot, we're extending chapter updates to roughly every six months with a smaller mid-season update between them and we believe this will give us the time to fully flesh out the chapters alongside having smaller updates between for events, quality of life improvements and bug fixes. Also, just to immediately get this out of the way, it's being confirmed after the fact by the Conan devs this is not related to Dune Awakening and there is no resource siphoning there, nor is this a move towards maintenance mode or anything of the sort. I've included these just for the avoidance of doubt. So, I think the reasoning given for moving the updates from 3 months to 6 makes a fair bit of sense. In layman's terms, they don't have enough time to fully develop things, and presumably to fully test them as well. This should really surprise nobody, it's been plainly obvious for a while. The Age of Sorcery wasn't too bad, likely because it had been in development for quite a long time, but as we got into the full cadence of the 3 month update cycle in the Age of War, things really started to fall apart. The Age of War Chapter 1 was light on features and launched with the Namidian Foundation bug, alongside invisible enemies on some platforms, treasures falling through foundations, etc. The Age of War Chapter 2 was a bit better, but the purge revamp had issues with spawning, pathing and looting, and the loot revamp did have a couple of teething issues. Chapter 3 was, well, a disaster. The Siege of Almoriah was pretty underwhelming and not well optimised at all, many people were falsely banned due to an issue with the anti-fraud system, the new camel mounts were bugged and unable to be attained, and issues with the purge made it much harder to complete for the first portion of the age, which ironically hampered access to the newly added tavern system which had to be unlocked through the purge, and then there was the adjustment to combat rotations that felt really clumsy. Finally, the Age of War Chapter 4 had bugs with the inventory overhaul, the bearer HP nerf wasn't well received without mitigating factors, the Sacred Hunter was incredibly grindy, and of course the issue with players falling through foundations. That's not to say that each chapter didn't have its own positives, it definitely did in my opinion, but each update definitely come with a whole swathe of bugs of varying severity. Most of the blame has fallen on insufficient testing and QA, which I think is likely the culprit, but the wider cause is probably just time in general. Let's be honest, Funcom don't have the best track record with QA and bugs, even before the Aegis system was introduced, but the issue got significantly worse with the faster pace. The Conan dev team isn't working with a huge number of people, I don't know the exact amount of devs on the game, but it's likely not a massive amount. A 3 month update cycle is pretty rigorous, and if you can't keep pace, things are going to slip, as we've seen. Even outside of the bugs, look at some of the other features like Down But Not Out, autonomous harvesting for golems and clan alliances. Down But Not Out was talked about fairly early into the Age of War I think, but only dropped with this mid-season update. There's been no word about autonomous harvesting, and clan alliances was also planned for the Age of War but was taken back to the drawing board as it just wasn't going to be sufficient for the purpose it was aiming for. I can't help but think that those features would have came sooner with more time, but then again, considering there were already issues with underdevelopment of features that did make it into the updates, it's pretty clear that time is the major issue here. You can have the best and biggest development team in the world, but if they don't have enough time then, well, it's not going to get done. That was the reason initially for adding a fourth chapter to the Age of War and subsequent ages after that to have more time to develop features that were slated for that age that didn't make it in and probably wouldn't fit into a different age with a different theme. It hasn't been clarified if the fourth chapter will continue, I wouldn't be surprised if it does because the precedent has already been set, but it's pretty clear they still just didn't have enough time to get the features done that they wanted to have complete. Even outside of the features, bugs are just the biggest problem there is and it affects everything and almost everyone. At this point, people kind of expect bugs to happen. That reduces confidence in not only the development team, but basically anything they put out, even stuff that isn't bugged itself. I think a good example of this is probably the bazaar. 
I think there would be a little bit less of annoyance with how the bazaar is operated if the game ran smoothly. Other games have pretty expensive in-game stores, probably more expensive than Conan, but because the core gameplay is relatively smooth and bug-free, I don't seem to see as many complaints, or at least they are a bit more tempered. Anecdotal, I know, but bugs really do affect the perception of everything. The Bazaar, of course, does have its own swathe of issues, pricing being a big one of them. But that being said, I don't think you can fight every single battle the game has all at once. You can have a cheap Bazaar, but if everything's bugged, it's useless. I think bugs are probably the biggest issue, and it's important to tackle those first, and the actual quality of permanent features that are coming out, and then I think you're probably in a better position to tackle the Bazaar. The decision to push updates from every three months to every six months will, I think, be a net positive for the game. Yeah, an update every three months is exciting, and transparently, as a YouTube content creator, it is good for us, but if you can't get the quality right most of the time, it's not healthy for the game, and I'd rather the team slow down and get it right rather than keep the current pace and drive themselves into the ground. I've played over 4,000 hours of Conan since 2019, and I still get really excited when new updates come. But the one thing I don't enjoy is having to report that half of the new features are bugged in a video about them. I'd rather updates be slower and I can just praise the actual good work that's gone into them. To be fair, the change in update cadence might not seem as bad as it sounds either, as there are mid-season updates that I imagine will land roughly halfway between each major update, so it won't just be silence for the six months between them, and if they use those updates as they said they would, to add new events and bring back older ones, hopefully with new rewards like bounty hunting as received, I think it will probably be a nice bit of extra content. That being said, I think I and many others would appreciate the dev team just communicating more throughout those periods. The Funcom team does sometimes have a track record with going a bit quiet when they're working on stuff. To a degree, that's honestly understandable, but I think they could really improve communication across the board, and it doesn't even have to be about features coming to the game if they want to keep them a surprise. Take for example a game like Ark, I have a lot of my own issues with Ark and Wildcard, I won't go into them here, but one thing they do really well is Community Crunch, where they just highlight stuff from the community. Given the devs do highlight stuff that the community has done on Twitter and Reddit, but I think just more communication in general, I know that if they're quiet for the six months it's going to feel real lonely for the community, so I think just having the devs talk in general will be good, especially if it's some stuff that might not interest everyone but would interest some people, like the process of, say for example, developing a building set. I know I and a lot of other builders would like to see that from conception to finished project. All that being said though, make no mistake, adding extra time to each update won't be a magic fix for all of Conan's problems. There will still be bugs, issues, and features that aren't as good as they could have been, and I have no doubt there will be other internal improvements that need to be made to testing and other aspects to improve quality. As important as time is, it is not the only metric, just a very valuable one. As I've said about myself a few times before, I'm an optimist, and I try and show that in the videos as well, just because I don't think constant pessimism is a very enjoyable flow of content to watch, but the past few updates have been rough. There has been good stuff too, it's not all terrible all the time, but the bugs and unfinished content have overshadowed many of the otherwise enjoyable content added over the past four chapters. Whilst I don't think some of the doomerism about this change is warranted, I don't think it warrants blind optimism either. Yes, the devs do have a lot of extra time to work with now, but we still need them to use that time properly. There will still be bugs, there will still be things that could have been done better, but I've got high hopes for this change. If they can't keep pace and deliver quality updates, well, something needs to change. And for me, I'd rather see the devs admit that and change it, rather than just keep on going to save face and create even more issues further down the line. I know people will likely have differing opinions on this, and to be fair, I can understand a lot of doubt about this change. The devs, to be brutally honest, have lost a fair bit of trust given the state of the game over the past year or so. Optimistic as I am, and as much as I still really enjoy making Conan content, that is objective reality. It's all well and good seeing these things written down in a dev blog, or even discussing them like this, but we've not really seen the implementation yet. Furthermore, it's something that we'll really have to evaluate after a couple of chapters to kind of see where things have landed overall. It's not the sort of thing you can make a snap judgement on, unfortunately. Whilst I do hold my own opinions that I think this will be very good for the game, I understand the larger trepidation about it, and the results do remain to be seen. As always, this is just my thoughts really. I would love to hear and discuss what you guys think about the update cadence changes in the comments below. Again, I'm optimistic, but this isn't going to be a magic bullet fix that makes Conan the perfect game. 
If we're aiming for perfect, we'll never get there because it's basically impossible for any game. However, a marked improvement in quality, quantity and type of content they're releasing, which is what the dev team themselves said they wanted to improve on, would be much better than the sort of rushed, very buggy product we've received recently. Honestly, the best we can hope for is that this change gives the devs the time they say they need, and a year or so down the line we can look back and be glad the dev team made this change. That is my ideal outcome really. If it all goes well, I think Conan Exiles could be in a much healthier state. Anyway, that about wraps us up for today I think. Again, please do let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching and of course a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. Make sure you subscribe for more Conan Exiles news, reviews, guides, builds, lore videos and more. Take care and I'll see you soon.